Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's devotional. This week's devotional is titled, Pastors, It's Time to Lament, Fast, and Pray. Pastors, ministers, and elders of the church, it's time to lament, fast, and pray. This is what all church leaders should be calling the congregations to do at this point in history. Can you not see that trouble is near? Can you not see that judgment must come? Have you not seen the world burning around you? How can you be so blind? The prophet Joel chapter 1 verses 13 through 15 says this, Gird yourselves and lament, ye priest. How, ye ministers of the altar, come lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God, for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God, and cry unto the Lord, a loss for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. In the book of Joel, a warning has come to Israel, a warning that great judgment is coming, for they have turned their back on his ways. I believe these same warnings and verses could also be talking about the very end of days, the days which we likely live in right now. God is calling for the priest to lament and to call the people to prayer, fasting, and repentance. God is calling for the trumpets to sound and a warning to go out to all the people. Joel 2 verse 1 says this, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Unfortunately, we see very little of this happening in the churches today. We see great sin, we see the wickedness and the apostasy, yet no call goes out, no trumpet is sounded, repent, repent. If the pastors and the church leaders won't send out the call, then the remnant must. Those who hold the testimony of Jesus Christ and obey the commandments of God, we must pray, we must fast, we must warn, and we must cry out to God. Dear Christian, whether you can see it or not, we are on the path of destruction. However, there is still a hope to be had. If only we, as God's people, would humble ourselves. If we would fast, pray, and turn from our wicked ways. If we would weep and mourn and allow ourselves to be grieved. Then God might turn from his judgment and instead leave behind a blessing. As we can see in Joel chapter 2, verse 12 through 14, which says, Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will repent, if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God? That is the devotional for this week, my friends, and I pray that you've been blessed by it in the powerful name of Jesus. If you like these weekly devotionals and the videos coming out, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I will admit that devotional writing is a passion of mine, and I hope to release uh, a book in the next couple of months, hopefully by April 1st. Um, and that will be filled with devotionals similar to the one we just read today, dealing with the end of time, the end of days, and watching for the return of Messiah. So if you like these, please uh, leave comments below because it does take work to write them, to edit them, even though they're short, and uh, pr to produce them, and then to make these videos available for you. I want to say thank you to the Patreon subscribers who help me make this happen every single month. This devotional has been made available to you in advance on Friday morning, and I pray that it's been a blessing to you, and thank you for your support. Um, I just could not do it without those of you who, who help, who have a heart to, to give and to support uh, this work. So thank you so much. I pray that you've been blessed. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus that I ask these things. Until next time, God bless.